For three days now, residents of parts of Tana River and Garissa counties have been on the move to safer grounds. A warning by the meteorological department that the Tana River will burst its banks, causing widespread flooding, which has seen hundreds of families flee their homes. Along the Garissa Nairobi Highway, residents of Maroro Village of Tana River County have set up temporary shelters for the last three days. Tonight, hundreds of families camping there will yet again spend the night. Women, children, the sick and the elderly are the most vulnerable, and they are now calling on the government to provide them with an alternative place to settle. <laughs> Wakati wa kutafuta kura tunaona viongozi lakini wakati wa saa hii viongozi hatuwaone hakuna mtu hata mmoja tunamuona katika hizi wakati wa ugumu na wakati wa shida na Mwenyezi Mungu wakati anakupea uongozi uongoze wananchi lazima kesho mbele ya Mungu atakuuliza kwa hivyo wale viongozi wetu ambao wanatusikia wajue kitu wa kumjibu Mwenyezi Mungu kesho mbele yake wakina mama watoto wanateseka kama mnavyoona saa hii hali yao ndio hiyo Na wana higher ground hapa kwamba saa hii wame wamefikia ingawa kuna IDP camp hapa madogo lakini hawana vile ya kusafiri ya kufika kwa hiyo IDP camp And besides homes being submerged in areas of Tana River and Garissa counties <laughs> The agony of floods has also been experienced on major roads with the transportation network cut along the Garissa Hola highway disrupting motorists Bwana Rais tunashangaa na sisi watu wa Tana River umetusahau kabisa na umesema ati wananchi wakalie mahali ya juu floods zisiwapate juu hakuna kitu wakikaa karibu na maji kwenye kupata riziki floods ndio hizo kila siku zinatuchukua barabara ya Tana River iangalie venye unaiona tunahitaji barabara yenye iko modern hii si barabara ni dhuluma bwana Rais kwa tumelala hapa siku tano ajali ya bridge yamekatika sasa tunaomba serikali atusaidie sisi ni watu wa the flash floods currently witnessed are the worst in the area since 2018, according to residents. The Galbet chief, Salat Mohammed, putting the number of families affected at 1,000. The Red Cross, in their most recent assessment, placing the number of families affected at approximately 5,000 countrywide. In Thika, Kiambu County, massive flooding has been witnessed following a heavy downpour on Saturday night that left a trail of destruction in its wake. Most drainage systems in various estates are clogged following the heavy rains.